Hello, welcome. This is Lily Reads It, and this message is going to be for Pisces. Pisces, we're going to see what's coming in just in general with love, okay? So these are for my singles, someone that doesn't really have someone in mind. Or if you just met someone, like, very recently, then this may apply to you as well, okay? But I'm, I'm going to do singles, those that are looking for new love to come in. Okay, let's see. What is coming in for Pisces in love? What is coming in for Pisces in love? Hopefully no old love tries to show up for you, Pisces, but we're going to see. What's coming in for Pisces in love, please? What is coming in for my Pisces in love? Okay, so social media here. Okay, let's see. And singles at the bottom. So you could meet this person, Pisces, on social media, this new person. Okay, someone could already be watching you from a distance. There's online dating here, networking. So something is very significant about online and new love, but let's keep going to see. What is coming in for Pisces and love? Single. Okay, so that definitely came out. So this is definitely for my singles, okay? Single, single. You could be um, isolating yourself right now too, Pisces, because I know you guys tend to do that. Try not to, okay? Try to get out there, even if it's online dating. What else for Pisces and love? New love, please, for Pisces. What is coming in for new love for my Pisces? Crossroads, okay. So you definitely have some options coming in, Pisces. Okay, because the fact that you have to choose and you might be at a crossroad at some point in time is showing me that you, you will have options coming in in love. What else for Pisces and love, please? Romantic feelings, okay? So you and this person are definitely going to have deep emotions for each other, okay? You may have a fear of just like loving again or being hurt because fear is at the bottom of the deck. It's time to jump in, Pisces. It's time to jump in. Let's see. Two more, please, for Pisces and love. What is coming up for Pisces and love? Okay. Spiritual awakening. Yeah, you're definitely going through a spiritual awakening right now, epiphany, a rebirth. So I feel like, too, when, when it comes to spiritual awakening, those that know that they are going through that, um, your person will come around the time that you're kind of ending that cycle, right? One more. Truth. Ooh. Okay. There could be some type of clarity coming in for you. Okay. Clarity. This could be from a past person because the fact that the truth is here. Yeah, look at that as I shuffle the deck. Ex-lover and truth. Okay. So I do feel like too, and, and that's part of the shift, right? When we're shifting and we're transitioning, people from the past always try to come up, make amends. I always feel like this is a test. So pass that test, Pisces. Okay, but someone here could definitely be coming in to give you some type of clarity, a confession. Okay, I definitely feel like this is a past lover with the ex-lover here. One more, please, for Pisces in love, and then we're going to pull from here. Signs and synchronicities. Yes, so pay attention to the signs from the divine that your person is coming in. Ask for a sign, right? Um, signs and synchronicities, like, hey, show me a ladybug within the next 24 hours, or um show me a pink car how many times do we really see a pink car that's one of my favorite things to do okay um but pay attention to the signs pay attention to the numbers that you see on the clock 11 11 2, 2, 2, things like that that will show you signs that your person is coming okay yeah there is definitely going to be like a strong magnetic attraction between you and this person five more please for pisces and love and then we're going to pull some tarot to see how your person may be Spirit guys, please show me new love for my Pisces. What is coming in for new love for my Pisces? Give it time. Okay, so with you and this person too, Pisces, either is Spirit just saying give it time for this person to come in, right? No rushing. Or give it time for this to grow. So when you meet this person, it may take a minute for things to kind of get off the ground. Okay, relocating. So some of you guys could be moving, relocating. So you may meet this person once you move or relocate. Or this person may live at a distance from you and they may, like, towards the beginning of the relationship, you guys might already start talking about 
like kind of getting together, um, moving in together, something like that could be significant with the relocating here. But if you know you're moving soon, Pisces, I do feel like you'll meet this person once you move and you get settled in. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces, please? In love. Someone is definitely missing you, Pisces. Okay, with the missing you. I do feel like see the ex lover trying to come into your in your energy. There could be something, especially if this keeps coming out past and I'm asking for new. There is somebody that you need to release. Okay, there's somebody that's in your energy still, obviously. And you can't fully, yeah, look, release the past. You can't fully move on until you actually fully release the past. Yes, you may not be talking to this person as much. Yes, you might say you're over it and you know that's not what you want or deserve but what are you really doing to show that you're fully like let release that person right you may need to do a cleanse you may need to do a cord cutting whatever that may be for you you know right you may need to block this person or you may need to just tell them hey it's over like stop texting stop calling me whatever that is for you but this this past person is coming in if you want new you just can't keep entertaining the past two more please for pisces and love new love Two more, please. Pillow talk. So I do feel like even this new person will definitely enjoy like cuddles, quality time, intimacy here, past love here. So you, this person could feel very familiar to you. They could be like a past life lover with a past love. <clears throat> but Pisces, I do see you're in this like blooming fit. Like you're blossoming, you're transitioning. You are definitely in a spiritual awakening. One more, please. Yeah, true love. True love is coming in for you. Marriage, if that's what you're looking for. If not, this is just a long-term partner. Something very stable, right? Something that you've been hoping and wishing for. Right? Learning how to open up, though. Because when this person comes in, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. So make sure you're doing your work, your part. Journaling, right? And this is definitely someone new because... As some of you guys are watching this, I'm already hearing, is it someone that I know already? Someone new. And look at that, worth the weight at the bottom. This person is worth the weight. Ooh, gonna be worth the weight. Someone new, baby boo. Okay, if you just recently met someone, Pisces, as you are watching this video, I wanna say within the last three to four weeks, to me, that is considered someone new. Someone that you are still very early in the dating stage still trying to get to know them okay <clears throat> other than that no it's not the person that you didn't already tried with you known each other for a few years and you tried it didn't work that's not it okay that's not it that's old that's old all right let's see tell me a little bit more about this person spirit guides ancestors that's coming in for pisces i'm just gonna pull a few cards to see if we get any zodiac signs that come out i will let you know pisces Mm -mm. All right, let's see. Pisces in love, please. What is coming in for Pisces? New love. Ooh, Ace of Wands here. Ace of Wands, something very passionate. Fire energy here. What is coming in for Pisces in love? But Pisces, you need to heal. This Three of Swords is coming out. Two of Wands. <laughs> Pisces, you're going to have to choose between two people. I feel like this is going to be a past person and a new person. You're going to have to choose because the Three of Swords, too, is also like that Two of Wands, right? It's choosing between this one or this one. Which one are you going to choose, right? Because you can only pick up one and you have two here. So I do feel like this is going to be like a third party situation for you. Or you may have two new people that are interested in you. Okay, take it how it resonates for you. What is coming in for Pisces and love? Ooh, Pisces. Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands. Having to make a decision. Taking your time on this decision too with the Four of Swords here. Eight of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups. You have options coming in. You definitely have options. I feel like one person is someone that you really don't trust. Yeah, there's just third-party energy, and I feel like it's going to be because of you. Like, you're going to be dating, okay? Now, if you know you, you're dating someone, Pisces, and you're the one that's in the third party because of them, then you know. 
But I feel like this is going to be because of you options for most of the people that I'm speaking here. Two more. Yeah, you need to heal though, Pisces. Because I'm getting a lot of like mm, hurtful cards, things that are showing me that you really need to heal before this next person comes in. And I feel like when this person comes in, especially with the tower here and the four of wands and the knight of swords, they're going to come in very unexpectedly. Like you're not going to expect this person to come in. Yeah, you have the ten of cups here too. <clears throat> They're going to come very, very unexpectedly here. Like, you're not going to expect this. Okay, you're going to be like, dang, I thought, you know, it's going to be a minute. But you also need to do your part. Let me see what this Ten of Swords is. Because I really feel like this is Spirit saying that, Pisces, you just need to heal. What is this Ten of Swords here for my Pisces? What is this Ten of Swords here? Yeah, before this new offer, before this Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands comes. You got to heal, right? This is a brand new start, too. What is this Five of Wands? Five of Wands is usually conflict, but let's see what this Five of Wands is for Pisces, please. The Hermit. Yeah, you pulled away your energy because there was too much conflict in the past with love, and I feel like you did decide to start pouring into your own cup. But I feel like whoever this person is, Pisces, that you had a conflict with, they are trying to come back. Yeah. But let's focus a little bit more on the new. What else, Spirit? Please tell me a little bit more about this new person. How will Pisces know about this person? Three cards, please. Libra energy. Okay, their money is very stable. <clears throat> they know exactly what they want. Okay, they know exactly what they want, especially with the King of Pentacles and the Justice here. It's showing me their money is not funny. Justice, they're coming in to kind of show you what a balanced, like fair, equal give and take relationship is really like. Could be a Taurus here. I have Taurus, Virgo. Taurus is here. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What else, Spirit? How will Pisces know? Will of Fortune. Ooh. Really good. Blessings coming in. <clears throat> this person's going to really feel like a wish fulfillment here. I have Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius now energy with the Wheel of Fortune here. But they're definitely going to feel like a blessing in disguise. Okay. Equal give and take here. Two more, please. Yeah, the lovers. You're going to feel that connection too. Gemini energy. You're going to feel it. I want to know, Spirit, is this person coming in within the next, um, I want to say around your season? So I want to say between. Okay. My bad, I had to set an alarm because I have a reading. So, okay. Um, I want to say around your season, February, March. Let's see. Is this person coming in around February, March? Please show me. There's some things you got to let go of. Some of you guys are delaying your person. You're in this back and forth energy, Pisces. Not letting things go. Look how this person is harboring things that they need to let go of. Get out of this back and forth energy. <clears throat> for some of you guys that are, are ahead, right, and letting things go, you will have your person. For those that are actually releasing, please show me. Will this person be around their season? Yeah, if you let this go, look at this garbage here, okay? Look at this garbage. Spirit is like, yes, if you let all this stuff go that you've been carrying around and burdening, burdening yourself with, yes, this love offer is, is going to come in is going to come in for you Pisces but you you guys gotta let stuff go <clears throat> let me pull some characteristics of what this person may be like this definitely a soulmate here a wish fulfillment I'm gonna pull a few characteristics of course not all these characteristics are going to resonate with everybody spirit guides ancestors for those that are already resonating with this Please tell me a little bit of what their new person will be like. Five characteristics, please, and whatever's at the bottom of the deck. Five characteristics, please. Okay, so for my women, beard or a mustache could be very significant. Okay. Air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So they could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, or Venus. Okay. If you don't know what those are, look those up. It's, we all have different signs, sun, moon, and Venus. 
older. Okay, so this person could be older than you. Brown eyes. Initials could be significant. I have two, so I'm gonna, because I do have a larger audience. So F as in Frank, M as in Mary, S as in Sam, X as in X-ray. I is an igloo, Z as in zebra, C as in cat, Q as in quilt, N as in Nancy, L as in llama. I, Z, C, Q, N, L. And we have F, M, S, X if you want to screenshot. Could be initials. And look at that slow start, but give it time. Remember we were saying that at the bottom of the deck. Water sign could be very significant. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Romantic likes the nice things in life, okay? Definitely marriage material here. I do feel like your person has kids for a lot of you too. Okay, they at least have one child, at least. Okay, and that is it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. For a lot of you guys, this person is coming in soon, okay? So get prepared, do your part. I do want to ask Spirit, what's one thing you need to focus on or work on before this person comes in but i feel like it's your shadow work and releasing you guys are holding too much baggage yeah choose wisely what direction are you going into i remember you guys are gonna have options right so choosing the right option too not going back to things that no longer serve you healing your heart and making sure you're you know you're doing what you need to do for your transformation journey is spirit's advice to you make sure you are going through your transformation properly healing the heart new beginnings are definitely coming in for you pisces all right pisces i hope you enjoyed that read and i will see you guys on the next one bye